All right, hello. I have some news for you that's uh, occurred in the Pine Barrens. Uh, this was uh, actually reported on News 12, and I'll give News 12 the credit uh, for this, uh, for reporting on this. And unfortunately, there has been vandalism in the Pine Barrens, uh, in this area here, uh, right around where we walked, uh, we're right around, actually not very, very far from where we walked when we took that hike, uh, you know, last month or so, like toward the end of September, we took a hike over here, we, we, we took a hike over here, one day we took a hike over here, we took that hike, and we walked all the way through here, uh, and then up through here, and then another day we uh, took a hike and we uh, walked down here, by these ponds here, he met over here, then walked up here, and then walked along here, and then through this part here. All right, well, not far from where we were, uh, there was uh, a vandalism, a uh, very unfortunate act of vandalism, and uh, this is uh, what, it ha what had happened. Uh, you can see here, Smokey, uh, this beautiful woman right here, Mar Marissa Sarbach. I'd like to see her more anchoring instead of these blondes. Uh, anyway, so uh, some, uh, Smoky Bear Field sign stolen from Manorville Nature Preserve. So uh, I'll link the story below. You can hear, see this is they put a sign up here, uh, Smoky Bear Field. So this was the sign they had put up that a Smoky Bear uh, uh, stat. I don't know if that's somebody. That's somebody in a Smoky Bear costume. But a whole thing here. They set this up, uh, and it, it says here uh, that. Uh, uh, the Otis Pike uh, was the sign was stolen from Manorville. So just August, just in August, they dedicated the 20-acre field for Smoky Bear because they do a lot of controlled burns there. So the sign itself is missing, and the post where it has been hung was hacked to pieces. So this is an act of hate against uh, the Pine Barrens, and uh, this is where the sign was. It was hacked to pieces. It, the ranger says it's very disappointing. It's uh, it's the significance of the Smoky Bear sign is a reason why it was stolen. So really unfortunate uh, that this had happened and I'll show you where it happened. So it happened right here in one of these fields, uh, I'm thinking it's this one right here, where they do controlled burns. They do a lot of training for controlled burns and uh, we do need more controlled burns in our Pine Barrens as you know. So let's uh, let's go into Street View. We'll take a look at this this area here. And again, I give News 12 credit for reporting this uh, because uh, you know, at least they did cover something in the Pine Barrens. See, there's some pitch pines here. So uh, this is an area, I'm um, not sure exactly where it was. But it was somewhere in this area over here where uh, this this uh, sign has been dedicated. It's a beautiful little area here that they maintain as grasslands because, uh, you know, and gra fire is a part of that ecosystem. So you can see here, this is a beautiful little spot here. See, there are a lot of beautiful pitch pines. Uh, and they cut down a sign. What's next for them from them cutting down trees next time? Uh, you know, this is a very disturbing and this shows ver the, the disregard uh, to the Pine Barrens many people have. I think, I think it might have been right in this spot here. I was looking at the story where they're interviewed. I'm not going to play the video, but uh, you can watch below. I think it was in this spot right here. So uh, this is where it was. Beautiful area and they had uh, they had uh, vandalized this uh, sign. So it, it's absolutely terrible that this happened uh, here. Uh, it just goes to show what happens in the Pine Barrens uh, and I hope they, these people can be caught. Hopefully there is some footage. Uh, people like this need to be in jail. Uh, people who vandalize things need to be in jail and especially you know we need strict enforcement uh, in the Pine Barrens. And like I said we don't get enough help. I don't blame the staff of the DEC. They work very hard. I blame the state for not giving them enough funding to do their job. Uh, and that all points to the governor, of course. So with that, I'll wrap up this video. Again, watch this video. I, the link is below. Um, News 12 did a pretty good job covering it, so you can watch the uh, video and uh, learn about this latest act of vandalism in our Pine Barrens. Take care.